Hello and welcome to jQuery for Designers. My name is Remy Sharp and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to fix a fairly common animation um, bug where you try and um, fade in and out. So I was recently asked to have a look at something on um, the Simple Bits website. Um, this isn't specifically what I was asked to look at but the first thing I, 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 I was linked to this page and I saw these photos and my mouse rolled over and this really nice effect um, kind of happens, so I can I can click through and see uh, the photo on Flickr. So the, I wondered whether or not this was being achieved with CSS or if uh, it was being done with JavaScript. A quick view source, I can see jQuery is in there, so I make the assumption that it is it is JavaScript. So then I do my next test, which is um, the repeat rollover go crazy effect. So this is when your mouse goes back and forth a few times and then you stop and the effect keeps going regardless. This is fairly common because it's fair to assume that you can just fade in and fade out and it'll be fine. Um, so the fix to this is very, very simple. So I've replicated some of um, the Simple Bits website and I've got this same effect and I've got the same problem here. And to, uh, to be fair, uh, a typical user isn't going to go back and forth several times but they may go over once and then out again and then back in again and that will trigger the effect to run twice in a way that may feel kind of out of time with their mouse movement. So the fix here is to, um, well, let's, let's actually have a look at the code. The code to start off with on um, Dan's website is uh, just this block. So I've just, I've just taken this one block. So when you hover over, it finds the, the strong uh, tag strong element, fade in, normal speed, fade out, normal speed, uh, when they roll out. So this is the, the strong tag and it has the, um, uh, that's great, it has the uh, view on Flickr and that's a link as well. What we need to change is, is change this to um, include dot stop, so we stop the current animation in its tracks and kind of switch over to this new one. The second thing we need to do is change from fade in and fade out to fade to, so that if we stop halfway through an animation and the opacity is like 0.4, we can animate from 0.4 to any direction, 0 or 1. And with this in mind, the original CSS, which I've tried to replicate here, has display none for the, uh, the strong tag. So if I refresh this, bring up Firebug, and have a look at the um, the strong tag. You'll see it's hidden um, as it is on uh, simplebits.com. So I need to change this to display block and um, opacity zero. And this will um, initialize the strong tag uh, for my animation. So. I said we need to change these to fade to. Well, let's add the stop first, actually. <clears throat> so, sorry, I said we needed to add the dot stop, so that stops the current animation in its tracks. We do that to both sides. And then instead of fade in, we use fade to. And fade to, I th Personally, I think it should read as fade to one normal speed, but the actual API is fade to speed and then opacity. So fade out is two zero. Let's save this and just go back to our uh, test. Oops. Refresh it. So the effect still works. If we roll in and out, it doesn't go mad. You see, if I roll in and come out halfway, it, it it kind of carries on from where it got up to. Um, that's basically the fix. It's as simple as that. We go from fade in, fade out, to adding dot stop, fade to, and specify where we want to get to. On top of which, um, the Simple Bits website is using RGBA for its background here to say uh, black with an opacity of 0 0.7 and uh, Dan's website actually has 0 0.74, 5 and so on. We could change this to be um, solid black and take the 0 0.7 out and put it in the fade 2 because we're now fading to a specific number. Uh, 
Now, obviously, because we've got opacity, the um, the view and flicker it also has um, opacity on it, so it, it may not be that that desirable, but it's an option basically. So that's it. That's how to fix um, repetitive uh, animations triggering on mouse movement. You add the dot stop and you add fade to. Okay, thanks for watching, and if you have any comments, add it to the uh, the website, jacarifadesigners.com.